Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of the the greatest name ever, Johnny's Podcast. Johnny Gilbert's Podcast. Nice. Yeah, it took me a while to think of that name. And our first guest is the one and only Blue Airsoft, Kyle David Hall. There uh, he is. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm, I'm sure you guys all know of him from uh, just our past together. We've made a lot of videos together in the past, and now we're making them in the future as 20-something-year-olds through yeah, through the internet. Um <laughs> So I think I think a lot of people are just wondering though, Kyle. Like, what's what's up? What's going on in life? How's it going? <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know. I've kind of just been chilling. Um, I've been wanting to get back into doing YouTube videos and stuff like that, but it's been a, a little weird being off yeah. for so many years to like try to get like right back into it. It seems like normal and stuff. So I've been kind of struggling yeah. with that, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been just really chilling, um, being super fucking lazy and not I feel doing too much. ordering, ordering Postmates and shit, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I feel like I, I wanted to talk to you about like just the difference in like YouTube in general, because the crazy thing for me and what I've seen nowadays is like, it almost feels like the average YouTuber, unless they're giving out a ton of money is like not yeah. really able to stay that relevant compared to like back in the day it was old personalities. That's why, like, you know, things were like, you know, MDE and like D all right. these people. But then nowadays, it feels like almost people have to like make drama to just make people care at all. Like, it has to be about someone else, like tearing them down or just talking about something going on. Yeah, it's, I one hundred percent agree. It, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it does suck because I, because I, I, me and you, like, we grew up watching YouTube because it was like a friend, kind of. I yeah, guess right. A silly like. I don't know, just somebody really being random and doing like stupid skits. And it was like, oh, I want to do that. And like, literally, we, we did it. Right. But yeah. now, now it feels like that's not really where it is anymore. I feel like it's all shock value and or just tr monetized, I guess, too. It's very monetized. And that kind of maybe made it different for people. But right. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't really like watch too many youtubers anymore because of that like i watch you and a, and a couple of my friends and stuff but there's yeah. like no personality that's like new to me that's really fun to watch and like it makes me really happy it's yeah that's uh, why i wanted to do a podcast because i watch podcasts right, <laughs> i watch yeah. i watch like i literally watch like maybe three podcasts and that's my youtube like i don't really exactly. watch that many and it sucks because i loved like personality youtube like it was yeah. so i mean Sometimes it was like, you know, drama stuff was going on, but mostly it was just like watching. That wasn't why I loved it, though. I loved it before I was doing it. And there was like just like that community, I guess. Yeah, it was fun. It made me feel really good and not lonely and it just gave me something to do. Yeah. So, I mean, we we have a long history. There's so much we can go down and stuff. The last time we hung out was um, I did a video with Postcards from the Moon. We did a song together yeah. and... Kyle, it was at Ohio, and I was like, well, Kyle and I haven't hung out in, like, how many years was it since we hung out before that? Maybe, like, oh, two uh, or something? I don't know. It was pretty two random. Or three, yeah. And then I went to his house. <laughs> it yeah, was so funny. I met my mom. Yeah, and then um, we got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> yeah, we did. Fuck. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, Good times. That was crazy. It was I really, it was so random, because I was just like, um the postcards from the moon guys like they like knew who we were from mde days and stuff and they were like yeah they knew they met you before they like i think yeah at a show or something Tour, i believe yeah. yeah and then they were like so they were like oh let's go see kyle and i was like yeah fuck it <laughs> let's see if he wants to because we were talking at that point and we were cool and stuff yeah so i was like right it was really cool and i gotta like actually go to the set of his videos blue airsoft videos where it'll begin <laughs> Yeah, and right here where in he this is, room. Yeah, right in that room. It was yeah. pretty cool. It was a, it, it was a it, lot of fun. Yeah, we just hung out and caught up and and got pulled over by the cops because of the fucking... Um, why did we even get in trouble? I don't remember. Like, Oh, God. It's because uh, I was still drunk from the night of. Yeah, but... but, we all, but that, and I had to throw up. But what, Oh. And I, we had to go on the side of the road on a bridge, and I was throwing up over a bridge. Oh, it was because freeway. it was because of that. I was I was thinking like, oh, but they the cop saw that afterwards. But yeah, no, but nothing bad happened. Though I was like, I was like, oh my yeah. god. He was really nice. I was just honest. I was like, hey, like I'm super drunk. Uh, I yeah. wasn't driving, and I just need to throw and, up. And I'm we sorry. didn't we didn't even have to drive far. We had to drive like. I don't know, 10 minutes in, in yeah. that 10 minutes. Cause we had to get to the, the studio we were doing the video at. And, um, 
what was it? That's it was super, and we were all like, I think there was too many people for seats, so we were like sitting oh, on yeah. each other or something. And I thought yeah. the cop was gonna get mad at that because you know that's that's a fair thing to get mad at. He sure, shouldn't be yeah. doing that, <laughs> but he didn't care. So, um, yeah. and I was like, oh my god, we literally have like two more minutes to go until we're there. <laughs> like, why? But oh man, yeah, man, that was that was a really random. And I was just thinking about that because I was like, oh, we're gonna do this, and I was like, man, that was just like the most random way to catch up was just like right. And it yeah. was so weird. Because, I'm like, I'm here. Let's hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it was so normal. Like we've been hanging out constantly. It seemed so yeah. like we never stopped. You know, it was, no, and it was the, great. yeah, and the crazy thing is we could drink legally. <laughs> yeah, right. Finally, so yeah, we we actually we we went to the um gas station, and that guy was oh, trying yeah. to. He gave me a dollar to get, or give one of us a dollar to get the backwoods for him. Yeah, you know, I still have that in my drawer at the other house. Oh, the dollar with this. Yeah, the dollar with oh, the sticker God. of that uh, studio we filmed at. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it was a really cool studio that video was filmed in, but um it, it was. was that was a fun time. It was just it was really good. I'm glad I like I don't know, it just it worked out. It was cool, very random. Yep. So It was great. I- yeah. I'm glad I didn't miss your text because like I slept in. It was probably like 6 yeah. p.m. by the time I saw that you guys messaged me and I was like, "Fuck, it's so late." Yeah. Uh, it worked out. It was so. it was very random. I didn't know if it was going to happen, but we made yeah, it happen. Neither. We just like I think we hung out twice during that time or something too, and then we got White Castle. So, or maybe that was—I I don't know was, if that was a, that it might was have been all the same one day. time. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it I felt like I my welcome, and it became two days. <laughs> it was one of yeah, because I think I think you slept there, like at the hotel. I did, yeah. Yeah, became, well, we, I didn't sleep at all. No, no. Sleep. Yeah, we didn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't sleep, and yeah. it all became one giant day. That's what it was. Right. And then you slept yeah. at the studio when we were filming, and and it was so loud because they were banging the drums. They're like do 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 do. Yeah, the same song over and over again. Yeah, I know. It was well that that place had a lot of that. That was a fun time. I wish we were more awake, but it was a good memory. I I wish I could have explored it more because it was really fucking cool. It was. It was cool. It was a good time. Um, so let's let's talk about the MDE days. (laughs) Sure. Yeah. Do you do you uh, fuck MDE? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. We just start shitting on it. Um. I've been very vocal this past year about my experience with like more so with Brian and stuff like you have. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly because he pissed me off again and then I got mad and <laughs> kind of went at him again. But makes sense. though. The older you get for you, at least like because I feel this way for myself. Like, do you look back on like some of the videos we were making and stuff and go like, what is this guy doing? Like, this is like cringe. Like or like, oh, yeah. do you do you look back in like a different mindset now? At, like what was going on and everything? Well, I go back and forth. Sometimes I look back and I love it and I'm so and miss happy it, and yeah. I'm like nostalgic about it. And then, totally. yeah, and then some other times I think about all the bad shit and like stuff that maybe I could More questionable or, or something. It's like, what is like the hotel right. situations where we would say at like, dude. That was fucking bad. Dude. I know. We would get in fights and I, 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 I don't know if you saw it this way. I think I talked to you last time about this, but I felt like for me, I was always trying to like, stu- like I was trying to be friends with Brian, but he was being, he was always mm-hmm. doing stuff that was really, what, well, what are you doing that for? So right. yeah, and the hotel situations were definitely one of those things where it was like, yeah, let's stay at a two star hotel that we actually feel like we're in danger at. Well, we saw people with guns and people were like, yeah, that was the worst one. Car and like, yeah, yeah. It and, was and at first, honestly, I was like guys like this is fine like it's you know we're behind a locked door like we're chilling yeah i was and like I I, the... yeah i was like Kyle, yeah. they have a gun and then they're like <laughs> i remember saying that to you and you didn't get it yeah and then you oh, got shit. it yeah do you remember what i was doing for you to say that they have a gun you were just outside with them i think like <laughs> like just well, being we were... like stupid just hanging out like I... and then shannon yeah. and i like saw that they were like we were like this is actually like super mad scary like, yeah, I didn't see it at first, but eventually I did. But we were walking up to the hotel, and there was a dude standing in front of another hotel room. Yeah, and so I was just chilling. Yeah, I was wanting to be nice. I was like, you know, I kept giving him head nods and like, hey. Yeah. And um, because this was this is when we hey, were filming the Brian Stars music videos, so we were hyped. Yeah, we were hyped. Oh yeah, we were stoked. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, you kept trying to tell me something, but you, like you were whispering because you didn't want him to hear. And I was like, what are you, <laughs> what are you talking about? I was just like, Ugh. and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he had a gun, and he was a pimp 
for the stuff going on inside. So he was basically oh protecting God. illegal shit going on inside. Yeah, and he I was, was just he... giving him head nods and fucking... yeah, like a like a watch, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like no an actual watch that someone wears, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking yeah. watch. Yeah, good times. It was a lot of fun times like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. See, yeah. I mean, those are hilarious now, but it was very, very scary and, like, super yeah. dangerous, and we shouldn't have been in that position to well, begin with. Well, I, I, I'm going to say this, too. I just thought of this, but um, now I see, like, people getting exposed for, like, oh, you're older. You should know better when they're, like, hanging out with younger people or something. Could you imagine the reaction to the MDE, like, era of life? Like, like I mean, there's not even videos up that were up, but people would be, like, I think, oh, this is – more like cringe or weird or than it than it was seen back in the day and i didn't even see it that way a lot of people didn't same yeah right but, but now i'm like oh like i'm i'm 23 now and i'm like oh i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't probably want to do that like i would you know and i would i would want these people to be safe or whatever but it was very um boy bandy i guess or something like it felt oh, a yeah. little manufactured so 100 percent, yeah but there was a lot of good times with it too we could talk about the positives if you want <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I love because I, I think about it and I, I get so nostalgic and I'm like, dude, those were the fucking Yeah, there days. is. Yeah, it was yeah. – it almost – now you look back on it and you're like, whoa, I didn't realize how big it was. Like how big – Right. How much of a life we were living. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It's, especially with this pandemic that just happened, like it's still going on. Like Exactly. It's like, holy shit, we were 17 or whatever, like – we had, you know, we weren't rich, but we, we had some money. We were making money and we right. could, we could like buy stuff and travel the world and just make silly videos. And, and it's, I look at my stuff now and I'm like, oh my God, I cringe at like everything, but I leave it up. Cause it's just like a memory at this point. It's whatever. I mean, right. yeah, we all grow up, but right. it was, it was so uh, unique, you know, people talk about like high school and stuff. And I think you dropped out too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Kyle and I both what, – what year did you – did you drop out like the – did you finish one year of it or – I finished three. I only had oh. – well, yeah, I only had one more year left. <laughs> and then you got swooped up yeah. for MDE? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I well, – um... It actually started during the third year of high school, MDE started, and I was missing a lot of like – days yeah. of school because there would be tours or I would be traveling and stuff and – Yeah, you started doing mad like at me. merch yeah. and stuff for people I think. Or... Right. Yeah, yeah so – I just dropped out the next year and wow. fucking yeah. Yeah. I, um, that's, that's crazy. We were, yeah, just so young. Like that literally, it was crazy. It was a different time. And like back then personality based YouTubers were like the shit, like that's what people watch. Oh, yeah. So like Brian, who was the leader of it, I would say like, he was like the, the face, like kind of like how he did the Brian stars tour and stuff, you know, it was like, yeah, yeah that was like actually meant something back then. <laughs> it was like, it was pretty crazy. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I f I feel like we never really had time to sit down and realize everything going on, good and bad. Like we couldn't really enjoy no. it so much because we were constantly doing something or constantly we filmed, going somewhere. We filmed like eight videos in a day sometimes, like straight up in a in a yeah. two bedroom apartment with like you know, uh, kitchen and whatever family yeah. room, small family for like a more than a week in a row and stuff like that. We'd be filming eight, eight videos a day, six videos a day, like constantly. Yeah, yeah, and. Yeah, and, really that's, have time and that's to that's think. the problem because there was no actual reason for that. I think everything was kind of, unfortunately, just rushed. And if it wasn't, maybe it would have had a healthier life and everything. Because mm -hmm. naturally, we still wanted to make videos or something and be like record our fun moments. But yeah, when you're doing seven videos in a row, of course, it's gonna become disingenuous. And like, oh, we're playing Operation right. today. Like, but right. people would watch it back then. It was like fucking yeah. It was like, oh, here's, but I think it's just because they had that group dynamic too, though. People really liked that. Right. So yeah, and it, yeah. it was like hanging out with friends and stuff. Yeah, I mean, now for, you look the at theory. the now you look at the the whole like squad and stuff, especially with like the photos missing Brian, and you're like, oh, that looks really cool, actually. Like, yeah, int it's interesting. Like, it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then I mean, obviously, the the end of it was the MDE tour, which was the most emotionally like draining air and i think everyone's life that we've had it yeah. was it was crazy that's when the ship was sinking <laughs> yeah but what's funny though too is there was so many fun dates so many fun times and yeah. also some of the most extreme terrible times 
Yeah, I, I think, uh, like you were saying, though, it was definitely something that was just too rushed. Like, and I think we were even, yeah. we were trying to get that across while it was happening, but unfortunately, it was rushed, and it um it just always was that way. Like that's just they wanted it to happen, so it was gonna happen. Right. And um, yeah, if it if the whole thing was um, I feel like sometimes it was just a really quick like cash, cash grab. grab. It, it was. It, yeah. Instead of like taking its time and really putting and, more effort into it and, and like and it kind of it kind of forever it kind of sucks too because like the money side of it like we all like i know pretty much because i you know we all talked about it back then but we all didn't make that much money compared to the manager and right. the two managers and right. member manager like it was like it was very like oh this is actually gross like this sucks like and I'm not, it's not all about money, but when you know you're getting kind of like fucked over and you're doing a lot of work, like, and, and it is fun, but it was exhausting. Mm -hmm. It was exhausting, especially as like that young of people. It was yeah. like, I mean, we were, it gets to the point to where you're like, how long am I going to deal with like being fucked over when I could be doing the same exact thing without the middleman? Sort of yeah. Thing? It just, it just hurts. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we were signing more VIP posters than we should have been mm -hmm. like stuff like that because it, it they were just selling them when they shouldn't have been but so it wasn't really vip it was like so we would be like literally meeting people as we're signing them and it was like this is mm -hmm. like horrible meet and greet because not that we were doing anything wrong but it was like we how are we supposed to meet people while we have to sign posters for too many people that weren't supposed to be you know they didn't right. I don't know it's just very businessy and um it it was crazy yeah. though but i mean and then and then it was like what are people going to do on the tour <laughs> and that is <laughs> exactly yeah and, and, and I, I, like i think last second or the day of i remember that I, I finally was like i'm gonna write a fucking comedy skit so i can do something yeah on this tour. yeah that was the plan and yeah. uh yeah yeah i don't know um more time should have been spent on well, and they got a lot of things well they i mean yeah they had the potato sack race <laughs> which it could have been fun honestly but i think it was that people wanted to do more than that though but like it wasn't i mean I just came out with my first EP, which was like five songs, and that, and I didn't know how to play my guitar very much, though. I didn't know what I was doing. I was like super scared. And right. then Brian wanted, he was like, "Fuck, we're gonna go on tour. I need to get my EP out." So he he rushed his EP. We went with him to do yep. those hit songs, <laughs> and yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, it was it, that was crazy too. That it, that whole. I mean, God, we went to ZK together too. That was a fun time, and you scared the shit out of me with Deborah. <laughs> And that oh, picture man. that I took. Oh yeah, the the fucking um, that's from a movie. <laughs> yeah. And I thought I, I thought it. Else. I thought it was so real though. It scared me so bad. <laughs> it, it took me, I think, three years to tell you that it was fake. Hey, you want you want to know what will make you proud though? I just went to ZK to do my new album, and yeah, and I I slept there like fine. I wasn't even scared. Really? Yeah. Well, they I'll changed come. it up. I okay. Well, when you go through life and it throws like a few <laughs> hits at you, like you stop feeling. Yeah. And maybe sure. maybe a ghost isn't the worst thing. Sometimes you're like, maybe that would be kind of exciting. All right, right. But um, well, that's good. ZK was a great time. It's 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 always a good nice. time. They're like, I uh, I like those memories we have of going back then. Was like, I think that was one of my favorite times. Like, you got your 100%. Zane Malik toy from Walgreens. Yeah, was... I think I got two of them right at some point. I don't remember. They, they were, on, they were uh, like old discount. bus. They did not look right. <laughs> yeah, they were terrible. Yeah, it was crazy. Yep. Um, I think those are some of my favorite memories. Anytime yeah. I think of like good times of MDE, it's it's definitely a lot yeah. of times there. Yeah, especially like just randomly finding Deborah's head too. That was a whole journey. Yeah. And, like, I remember um, on the tour, like my favorite footage of you is like you taking Deborah's head and kicking it super high in the air. <laughs> yeah. And it flew so far. I was like, and then it fell in the sewer area and you had to go get yeah. it. Yeah. And then fan her. fans would go and want to meet her. Yeah, they loved her. We crowd surfed her a couple of times. People, like, people, I, I still stand by that. Deborah was funny, and everything you did with Deborah was funny. People would get like, "Oh, you're hitting the doll's head, or you're kicking it." It's a fucking mannequin head, dude. Yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. It's supposed to be like a demon and shit. Like it, it, it is a yeah. demon. It's literally. <laughs> That's actually right. Yeah. I would say it's a, a succubus or whatever. Like uh, the, the. Yeah, succubus. Yeah, exactly. The ones that get you when you sleep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, throughout the years, Deborah became more of a demon and um yeah she actually was very scary i i loved her and all but uh she freaked me the fuck out like, she genuinely she actually scared me a lot of times and like i think there was one time in my apartment that you were like oh deborah's head moved on the pinball machine 
Yeah, did I remember that, that. Did that actually happen? I feel like somebody and, and, had to have done it. Okay, I didn't move it, and I don't know anyone that did, and no one confessed. And I know you wouldn't dare to touch it, so... <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh with my it, god, we have so many memories that whole time yeah. too. The R World Away memories with uh, mm -hmm. Stretch Armstrong, or even yeah, uh, back in the day, even further back, we had a uh, Scuba Steve. You bought yeah. There was a time where uh, Brian and I lived above Walgreens, and oh. MDE was starting, and Kyle was like, we would, he would go to the Walgreens, and he saw Scuba Steve, but like not yeah. just one. He saw like how many of them? Oh god, I forgot I bought so many. I, I bought probably, the whole amount they had. I think you spent like two hundred bucks on them. Honestly, you bought a lot. I, sp I spent too much, and then I went back the next day when they restocked and bought bought the new stock. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, damn, Scooby Steve got really popular randomly at yeah. this Walgreens only. Uh, like, we're gonna keep stocking it. Fuck. You put them in the toilet. Yeah, so we put uh, chocolate ice cream, a bunch of other weird bad stuff. You should have just food. actually shat on it and just left it in there for like, and just be like, I'm not gonna clean it up. <laughs> yeah, this is your didn't problem. We, didn't we leave him in the toilet for tour? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I yeah. think I came back and I had to go to the bathroom, <laughs> and and I yeah. opened it and there was and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fucking. I it, loved him. No, it was such good times. I was like. That's so like living that whole area. That was like a weird apartment. That was crazy. Do you remember the life size skeletons I kept buying from the Walgreens? Yeah. Store? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Kyle. Kyle Those never buys nice. anything stupid. <laughs> where's <laughs> Only where's the fucking thing where's, need. where's the skeleton? Is it? Did it not make it? Is it like gone? Yeah. He got destroyed at your play. I remember I broke the first one by body slamming it as in like a wrestling move. Mm. And then I went downstairs and bought a new one. And I think eventually it got absolutely destroyed. I can't remember. Wow. <laughs> That's fucking... I couldn't um... take that home anyways on the plane. I'll have to buy it. Really? Seat. Yeah, you'd have to buy it a seat to sit next to you. <laughs> yeah. That's some goth yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, it is. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things we can go in the directions of. I mean... You were on Warp Tour a couple times and stuff, and you went to those shows. What was that like for you, too? Was that, like, one of those things you didn't realize how big it was until, like, it was over, kind of? Like, because that's how it feels for me. Yeah, yeah. It, it was similar to the MD Tour. Well, uh, just of not being able to kind of sit down and realize what's going on and stuff. Mm -hmm. and Take it in. Yeah, yeah. I remember both times I went on Warp Tour. It took me, like, three months to recover as well from being so fucking worn out. I would just chill and relax and also in that time, I'll just be thinking like, wow, that was really fucking sick. And that Surreal. was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 I feel like for me, when I was doing Warp Tour, it was like something like, I can't wait till this ends. And then the moment it ends, you like are like, all right, when is it going to start again? Because right. you just need that like day or two to just like relax in whatever way you need to. And then you're like, all right, like I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. you're like well that was fucking sick i want to do it right now again. yeah to do talk about like past mde members past past ones <laughs> we definitely can to have the letter a austin <laughs> mm. okay <laughs> what, what, yeah. what what was that like you like actually met austin jones in the past was that like yeah um so i guess that was like that seems like pretty like wild in my opinion yeah it actually fucked me up for a long time and it made me feel so weird in multiple different ways for like a long time because I hung out with him and basically lived with him. Like I was at his house for or like lived with him on tour. Uh, I was at his house for a couple of days and then, you know, we slept in the van and whatnot. Yeah. And yeah, it's so weird to like see somebody and it, they seem so normal. There's like nothing sticking out at all. Like they're not. And then, yeah. And then weird. next. Yeah. And then he's on the news and it's like, yeah, it was and... weird. And it shocked me just of seeing, like, uh, someone living, like, two completely different lives. And you wouldn't be able to tell, like, w when they're in their bedroom alone, it's, it, they're completely it's, different. It's, like, it literally is, like, those, like, I mean, crazy people movies that were, like, you, not just yeah. movies, but, like, actual scenarios. Um, right. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry you had to deal with that, like, for, from your perspective. Because you had a – I've never – I the only thing I remember from him was he was, like, hey, promote my cover. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. and I was like, and then, and then obviously when he hacked MDE's Twitter or whatever, which we should talk I don't about. Think we ever, yeah, we, we have never talked about that. Well, we publicly, we've we talked should. about it like online, like on live stream or something maybe, okay. but like never, I, that's like, I feel like that just shows how fucked up a, of a human being he kind of is. 
because yeah. that was pretty like crazy person shit to do. We were at like Warp Tour or something, and my digital escape was still going on, but Austin had been called out for Austin Jones. He was a part of MDE at one point for some reason, <laughs> um, <laughs> but he uh, he got out of the channel during that time, but he still had access to the Twitter. And at that point, he was called out for just asking fans for twerking videos, which is really mm -hmm. weird. Like, that's not normal. Um, but then, obviously, it became – everyone found out that it was more than that. But yeah, during that time, that's all they knew. And uh, he tweeted on the MDE Twitter and deleted it instantly because he still had access. Uh, and we, we traced it. So, that's, Kyle traced it. Well, so. yeah, yeah. We also did – we did change the passwords to the Twitter – but if you do something where if you change the passwords, people that are still logged in continue to be logged in. So you have to go into deep settings and then make yeah. everyone get logged out, then change the password. That's why he was still able to tweet. And he tweeted what? Like Austin Jones should kill himself? Yeah, like he's, he, tweeted, like he tweeted Austin Jones should kill himself. And this was when MDE was really popular and Twitter was yeah. super active. So yeah. he tweeted that and then deleted it like instantly. Yeah. So it popped up on the fans' notifications and then they were like, what the hell? And I think that just shows like the type of person that is because uh, mm -hmm. Kyle tracked it because somehow he knew how to do that. And then <laughs> and then he he was like because he was friends with Austin at one point and he knew that yeah. that was his place. And it was like, so, wow, that's low. I've taken pictures at his house from the tour. Mm. So I had pictures on my iPhone of me from his house. And we also got an IP because every time somebody tweets off of a Twitter, there's an IP address of where they were when they tweeted it. So we got the IP and I was like, wait a second. And yeah. then I go to where that IP says, and I'm like, that's pretty close. It might be him. And then I go to my phone and zoom in right where I took the picture, and it was spot on. I was just about to say, um, I know you've been still posting videos and stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, what mostly have you been doing, I guess? Like, what's different from, like, MDE days versus now, I guess? Well, I'm single, <laughs> and right. um, I live back home, which is weird, because I, I never lived back home when I was a kid. So that was, that was like, super different. Sure. Um, but what's different? I mean, I, I, I mostly got into like just live streaming more cause I feel like that's nice. more, uh, satisfying. Even if you don't like get paid or anything, you're just like hanging out is more fun. Cause I still do it's YouTube. More immediate. Yeah. It's still, I still do YouTube, but unfortunately YouTube is just not really, I'm not really a YouTuber anymore. Like I don't feel it. Like I still mm -hmm. want to be active on it, but I'm not like. I'm not trying to do like vlogs like I used to do. Like if I do a vlog, it's because I just want to. I'm not trying to be like trying to get a crazy title and because I I just don't have that into me anymore. I like I, I didn't like that either. It was like it was fun mm -hmm. for when it when it happened, but people are always like, "Why don't you make crazy videos anymore?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't have any like people near me." And um, I mean, the t I'm just not that crazy anymore. I just like I can't like force it. It's just not right. like. Yeah, so I, I still want to be active on there. I just have to accept that that might just be me just, like, hanging out or doing a podcast or something. Or I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue my music. That's the thing that I'm mostly putting right. effort towards. But, yeah, that's nothing's really changed too much, though. It's pretty much same haircut, same same skinny yeah. jeans. So Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, I, I feel like, though, with YouTube, though, it did get to a point where it was, like, it just wasn't satisfying anymore, though. Like, I do enjoy it, but I, it, it totally just changed the vibe of it, and that just, like, kind of ruined it for me because it used to be just so natural. And um, it's not really a sad thing. Things change. Things grow or right. whatever. But – Yeah. And I still I still contribute to it. I just – um like, posting and stuff, but it's not – yeah. It just doesn't feel like my number one, like, oh, I'm trying to be a YouTuber anymore. I feel you. So, yeah. Yeah. Bittersweet. Um, yeah, I get that. Uh, I mean, that's why I took... I've been off for almost three years now. Um, no. I didn't want to take this long of a break at all. But um, I think it's really helped. It's helped me uh, kind of look at things differently and get a new perspective on the things that I do and what I should expect and stuff like that. Or Because sometimes, you know, back in the day, views would get me upset. I'm like, well, fuck. Like, if this video did shit, I know. it yeah. sucks. And, yeah, you know. totally. So... I want to make sure when I come back that I don't care about those things. And I think I'm already there, um, yeah. you know, and just just do it because I want to do it again because I started not doing that. I started making videos because I felt like I had to. I'm sure you. Yeah, totally. To that. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I just want to take some time off and uh, just get a new perspective on things and do it because I'm happy and enjoy it. Yeah, I um, 
I think like the mindset I try to keep nowadays with it. I mean, I, I it's just like if something does well, then it's like exciting. But if something doesn't, then yeah. I kind of already expect it to not do well. Honestly, I'm like, uh, and I don't know. It doesn't really. I mean, it's cool, but at the end of the day, like you can't find happiness with making YouTube content. Like that's not. It's not worth it. It's not even worth yeah. like. If you want to do YouTube, do it because it's going to make you happy for that day or something. Don't do it because you're trying to find happiness from it necessarily. Because I get that completely. Basically, like, yeah. do YouTube if you're happy and you're having a great time and you don't care, like, what it does online or how it does. Yeah, if it's, if it's some way going to, like, make you feel better in a way. Like, if you're, even if you're sad and you're making a sad video or whatever and making that yeah. video feels right, then that... But, like, if you're trying to find happiness from, like, doing it, you're mm -hmm. probably going to just be disappointed. And... Yeah. For a long time, I mean, I was super, like, in the YouTube game. I was trying to be a YouTuber and, like, fucking, I don't know, just keep on growing. That was, like, oh, like, I mean, I kind of had it built in my brain. Like, oh, do that. Like, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And um, right. and then I, like, then it just, like, wasn't doing that well. And then I eventually was, like, all right. Like, I'm, I, I just, like, realized I just, I can't keep on carrying, like, to that extent. Right. Like, I, I have no control of it. Even if I try, like, it's, like, not everything's going to do amazing or as well as something used to do. So, well, if uh, you give away a hundred million dollars uh, <laughs> per video, I mean, it's gonna do yeah. great. I can tell you that. So. Yeah, right. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. That's. I mean, that's really what it is too, and it's crazy. I think I, I've been always having this quote in my like. It's not a quote, but like YouTube, but it's not YouTube. It's just tube. Like, there's no you. It's gone. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's. I mean, yeah. There's Mr. Beast and like, but he's kind of like the same as like any other host at this point. You know, he's a popular face he's like yeah. howie howie mandel <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah like him let's talk about like your interest and stuff you like movies and stuff what, what are like movies that you fuck with <laughs> sure. uh... <laughs> mm. you fuck with well, video I... games <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> i do um i guess i can tell you about this it's like movies but um yeah. i like movies a fuck ton actually yeah so at this time when i was like offline I basically in my very small. Do you remember how small my room was? Oh yeah, <laughs> very small. Can't you forget. That's probably why you're. Can't yeah, forget. you walked in and said, "This is why you're extremely sad all the time." And I'm like, yeah, oh 100%. no. He <laughs> said it to be funny, and it was really funny. <laughs> like, well, God damn it, that's right. Um, <laughs> but mean... I made a I made a home theater in this small ass room with like huge ass speakers and everything. Like Fifteen inches. I'm just level. imagining you living in a cardboard box, and you're like, "Yeah, I got a home theater." <laughs> yeah, basically. No. Nah. Um, so I upgraded this. I don't know if I'll be able... My room's a mess, but... Yeah, uh, no worries. I got this... Oh, God. I got this... Uh, mm, let me turn on the light really quick. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. But this is one of the speakers. Oh, wow. You can see. This yeah, is one of the tall. woofers, too. Uh, it's tall as hell, and then they're all around. It's Jesus. Uh, a legitimate, like, surround sound system. Nice. Uh, and, yeah, it's been a lot of fun to... Uh, Fucking watch movies on, play games on, and what like uh, yeah. movies have you been like? Have you seen anything recently that's any good? Or I mean, I'm sure you're excited for tomorrow, which is National Bill Burnham Day. He's dropping yes, his. I yeah. fucking am. You're right. That yeah, is me tomorrow. too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. I know oh that Bo Burnham is dropping his new special. Let's promote it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I uh, it. I uh, yeah. I didn't know if he was ever gonna do comedy again like that. Same. So I was like, it felt like he and really like, ended it. But. Yeah, and I was upset, but I also accepted and was like, he fucking killed it. These are like the way so, he, these are my yeah. favorite specials. So yeah, the way he like I, I, ended it, like saying like talking about his like mental health and stuff with it, yeah. was so right. understandable. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm I'm super excited. That's the only thing I'm really excited for. That's like any like movie or anything. And I was like, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. The moment I it, saw it, I like was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I freaked the fuck out. I was so excited. Yeah. I wonder how it's going to be because um, I'm very excited because he made it all by himself. Yeah. Kind of like he used to do YouTube. I yeah. Assume, so, so I assume that's it's going to be interesting. Yeah. I'd assume it's going to be just as funny as anything he's ever oh, done. But oh, definitely. Maybe more raw. I'm excited to see. Yeah. And that that's not bad, though. That might just no, hit. That's, <laughs> might yeah, just hit I think hard. it's a really good idea. I think it's unique to go that way again after having a, a super big uh, production value and stuff. And yeah. just to do it yourself makes me uh, so much more excited. Yeah. Anything he does is going to be great. So yeah uh yeah so have you been watching any like movies in general though that like have hit i feel like i don't know i'll just I'm, yeah i'm trying to think because it's been kind of rough for movies this past year because of covid like they really haven't been putting yeah. much out 
Ah, uh, fuck. There was a good movie I saw recently, but I can't remember it for some reason. Have you seen, like, uh, Napoleon Dynamite? Like, Yeah. That movie just, like, is one of those... I mean, I don't know if you like it, but I, I personally... Do, yeah. yeah, that's, like, one of those movies that you could just always turn on, and it's, like, still enjoyable. That's, like... But, yeah, they're, they're, it's been kind of slow for, like, films actually coming out. It's been... Yeah. It's been sad. <laughs> but... Yeah. Because I, I love movies, and I uh, I had AMC Movie Pass, which is mm. like you pay fifteen bucks a month, and you can see three movies a week, which is absolutely insane. So yeah. I literally took advantage of that. I remember before COVID, I saw it to uh, fucking I think four or five times, and like Jesus, movie, that's a long it was movie like, too. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's like one of the longest movies of the year, and uh, yeah, that's yeah a I while. just loved it, and I was bored, and I was like, I, I don't pay for these, so I, yeah. you know, I might as well take advantage of the subscription. How has COVID been for you? Like, I mean, has anything really, like, changed? Is it just, because, I, I mean, for me, it's been kind of the same, more or less. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's a little bit worse, but, like, before COVID, I barely fucking went out anyways, so it's it was a little easy at first, but... I feel like with how long it's been lasting, it, it's starting to actually get to me. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I want to go do something. Like, yeah. I, I want things to open up. I'm like, literally bored. I just want to, just... yeah, for me, I, I just want to, like, go to, like, a convention or uh yeah concert. A show or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah even as a go fan or whatever. Like, shit. I just want to, like, I just want to, like, see people living a little bit. But, yeah. Yeah, I feel that though. It wasn't like that crazy, but yeah, it, like with time, it's definitely like been like, yeah, but like that looks like I want to like do something. <laughs> yeah, it's so. it's been kind of rough this past. I would say like the past two months has hit me the worst with like just being so kind of yeah depressed of just not being able to do anything or see anybody yeah. like out and stuff. It's it's been yeah, weird, it's all but... been over like the internet and stuff, which is, you know, yeah. thank God we have that. That's awesome. But yeah, this is fucking awesome. This is, uh, yeah. I love this right here. This is like really nice. Um, but it's but... still, it's still like, yeah, it's not the same as like kicking it like in real life for sure. That's always like, right. um, but it, it, you know, it's getting, it's getting better. So, I mean, it seems, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm excited for the end of the year. I think it'll hopefully be looking pretty good. Yeah. That's, that's okay. how I feel. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, have you, you've been listening to any music lately too? Like, as, um, oh yeah. Um, do you yeah. fuck with Juice World? Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, dude. I love Hell Juice yeah. World. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, who else? Juice Post World. Malone, of course. Love Post. Um, yeah. Post Malone. You used to play I Candy had... Paint all the time. You and Luke. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> candy Paint. I remember back in the day, I was like. I was always like, oh, you guys are vaping. But now I'm just like, man, I wish I was vaping with you. Like, I had a vape, but I didn't fucking use it. And now yeah. I'm like, now I'm like, now I love it. Like, I love ripping fat clouds. That's my yeah. shit. You guys were in that right game for, you're, yeah, you're still, so you're just vaping. That's just. Yeah, it's just vape. Uh, I stopped for a little bit because it got expensive. Um, and then I was like, fuck it. I stopped for like seven months last year. It, there's been like weird laws with that stuff too, where it's like not available or some shit. Like it's a. Uh, yeah. Jewel is basically fucked because, uh. You can only get tobacco flavors in Jewel now, and like, mm. I don't really want that. Um, yeah, that's so like, yeah. yeah, that's like, um, I used to get like the blue mint like uh, ones or whatever. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah it's been, um, but yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's it, it's better than nothing if you're like super wanting one. But yeah, it's not. Yeah, I like. Yeah, most people like. The I got into that when I first started. After like two months of or seven months of being off, I started with blue. Yeah. And then I, but it gets so fucking expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you definitely like get the cartridges and all that and the juice yourself yeah. and fill it up. Yeah. yeah. That's much cheaper. It's crazy, though. It's a whole like world, the whole vape community. Um, but yeah. 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 It's dying off, though, because people are fucking with all the vape and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I th I think what's definitely happening, though, I mean, weed's definitely making a strong, like, pull. Th like, that's, like, becoming... But a lot of people... And just CBD, actually, like, um or whatever. Yeah. Like, like they're doing, like, um Delta 8 or whatever the hell. It's, like, it's like something that Jake showed me, and it's, like, a just, like, a CBD kind of, like, smoke thingy. But it's legal. But it's, where it, it looks like weed, right? It feels like, like weed without the one feeling, whatever it is. It, it gives you that, like, relaxation, for sure. Sure. Yeah. So it, they're able to like sell it in places they're not able to sell weed, but yeah, you can buy CBD here, and I have. Yeah. Um, they even have a CBD flower, which looks like weed, smells wow. like weed, 
and it burns the same way, but it's just <laughs> CBD, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy that I hopefully, I think, I think all that stuff should just like, you know, get to a point where it's just legal everywhere, but whatever. it was very close to being legal here, but it was like 2%, uh, more people said it shouldn't be. And then <laughs> I got fucked. So yeah. No. Bullshit. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I don't get it, but one thing I uh, you showed me too that I really enjoyed was the twisted uh, tea or whatever the hell is that what it is yeah. the alcohol yeah those the things are like tea, yeah yeah those things slap they like are super easy to drink for sure yeah they they taste like delicious and it doesn't seem like you're getting drunk until it's too no. late no yeah exactly <laughs> yeah it's like it's 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 easier than like Mike's hards and all that it's like mm -hmm. or, or white claws uh, like. I used to. I don't fuck with White Claw anymore. Oh, they're so like it's seltzer, right? Like, isn't I it? I like seltzers. But oh, you do. White Claw is uh, bad. Yeah, there's. Yeah, like, it, um... it, it, it's like kind of that beer kind of flavor though, or not flavor, but feeling. You know? Yeah. Makes your tummy. There's like... better seltzers out there. My favorite one is um, Smirnoff something seltzer, and it's it's mm. so fucking good. They got like orange flavor and all this shit. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I fuck with like those type of like angry orchard all those type of things yeah. and stuff but i think twisted tea is up there though because it was just so easy to like oh, drink yeah. like youtube and stuff like that though you're like um are you just like and like twitch too you were like really going at twitch at one point too you were even doing irl which was like cool as fuck like i thought that was yeah dope. that was a that was a lot of fun um <laughs> that was crazy and you got haircuts on it and stuff yeah, yeah, I was really brave somehow. I, you like, were. I, I couldn't do. Yeah, it would take me a second to get that brave again. But yeah. yeah, it was a lot of fun. I loved it. It was like one of my favorite streaming things I've done. Um, but the reason I stopped was because I went on Warp Tour and I tried to live stream the Warp Tour, but yeah. with everybody using the cell data, it didn't work. So then I kind of yeah. just fell off of it and didn't really start it back up when I got back. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I went to the dentist and uh, really? got my teeth cleaned on live stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy yeah that's that's really good i like that um that sucks though that like yeah i think you should get back into twitch though that'd be awesome like i don't yeah, know yeah i, I kind of have a plan i don't know if it's the best one but i i want to get my video all the way together i mean i have hours of footage already filmed and i'm hoping to make a really long video by the end and i have so much more to do but um i want to post that and then go back full time. Everything else, stream often, uh, post on Instagram, Twitter, yeah, just um, be like and active YouTube. again. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get that one video out first for some reason and have that kickstart. Yeah, you just want I it guess. to be. Yeah, you want it to be special though. You don't want it to like be rushed, and you don't want it to be. I don't right, know, so. but it kind of sucks too because like now with how long I'm taking on the video because I'm not motivated or whatever it is, it's just I'm not doing anything at all because like I don't want to stream before. I get the video out. It's like it's a good plan, but it's kind of it kind of puts you in this waiting period, yeah. Right. Yeah. You don't you don't know when it's gonna be over nece necessarily because you don't know when you're gonna feel like you've got what you want. Right. I guess. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully we get to see that soon. I hope so because, I mean, I, it sounds cool. I look, some of the stuff you did like even before your last like before you ended and stuff like you were doing like you were doing like all these short films and stuff and they were like mm -hmm. you put like time and shit into that like you even like paid people on like fiverr to like do voices i remember and yeah. all that yeah it was pretty it was pretty crazy so i i definitely want to do those again and with the video i have um i kind of want to do like a bunch of things in one video so like if there is something that somebody liked on my channel it's probably going to be in there like it's mm -hmm. basically just a bunch of things there's going to be skits in it uh like cine or cinematic stuff uh just talking sitting down stuff um I kind of want to do just all of that in one video sort of thing for my yes. comeback, if that makes sense. Kind of like a special, like something to yeah. make it like a monumental thing. Like, hey, I'm 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 putting my foot back into the the water, and we're going right. Yeah, yeah. I think that totally makes sense. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's probably like it's very similar to like me with my album and stuff. I I want it like it. It sucks that it takes so much time because you gotta like do all this crap, but like because of that you're going to get a better finished product and you're going to get something that you're going to like that's going to live uh with right. you and you'll be really happy of. about yeah. right yeah so that's the plan yeah. cool well i mean that would be great like i think um yeah that sounds tight <laughs> it should come out this year um it was supposed to come out last year uh but i mean it, it'll definitely come out this year i can't see it going yeah. past this if so that'll really suck yeah that'd be i mean yeah that'd be great because i mean it, it i i miss like personalities on youtube like like there's like, there's not very many people doing it anymore, really. Like not actively. Like 
<laughs> I don't. Right. I, yeah. I don't I know who else one, is. But, really? Right. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know everybody on YouTube, so I'm sure there is yeah. some people, but I, I just, I can't think of one right now. No, like even like the really, the bigger people, like most of them have been canceled at this point. <laughs> so they like right, even, yeah. even David Dobrik and Shane Dawson, all, James mm -hmm. Charles, they're all like, now those people that were considered personalities are not even posting because they're going through their shit. So it's right. a, what a time, what a, it's been such a weird year to like watch how, like, I don't know. I feel like things are really different online. <laughs> It just feels really different. I don't like to watch YouTube. I, I a lot of times it makes me depressed or it's like not a good place to be and I it I kind don't of like to watch it. I think like you noticed as well, like the leafy and drama alert era, like like when that was like on the rise, like that kind of you mm. kind of felt that change too, because people yeah really started to realize, oh, this is the type of content that's really this is what brings in views, but then that became a mm -hmm. that became a thing where that's all that people do now to make views. Like if you're doing something mm -hmm. else, like even a music video or something, like it's Unless if you're really popping, it's really hard to like even get out there still because people are like, oh, well, like I want to hear about this person doing this shitty thing. This person I hate, I guess. So. Yeah, it, it makes me really sad that um, a lot of people, I feel like, just really enjoy watching other people get taken down or, you know. Get, they love uh, it, yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I don't like that. Yeah. Um, I think for a little bit, I think everyone probably did when like, yeah, the leafy thing. That it, it's hard not to and... look almost. It's like a car right. crash or something. It's like, yeah, you, you see it and you want to like see what's going on, but you don't want to see what's going on necessarily. Exactly. Yeah. And I've stopped myself. I, I told myself like a couple months ago, maybe a year ago that I'm just, I'm not going to watch like drama channels because it's just so depressing. It's it sucks what people are doing and, uh, it just doesn't. Yeah. And these are real people watch. too. So it's like, it's, right. it's, it's super weird. And it even like. I'm not saying the news is drama channels, but it kind of can be like in the way like it's all like it's it's yeah. all focused on negativity sometimes and like and it's depressing. It could be very draining if that's like oh you're taking in a lot of the time. So right because I was addicted to watching like all the stuff about. I still sometimes do click on that stuff because I'm like oh I want to know what's what's going on with this person now and uh, yeah and it's like oh my god like and it's weird too to like see like for me like shane dawson or david dobrik or these people like i was a big fan of watching those people mm -hmm. and now it's like oh now they did something that you know is like bad and it, it puts the i feel like it puts the viewer in a weird position as well it's like great now right. something that made me happy is like negative and i can't like Correct. like right. it anymore which is fair it makes sense but it's super like sad or even like with brian who you know which was a a great example it's like oh our friend like you know it's like now he's got he's done all this stuff that was like not very fair and stuff and um yeah yes yeah. that was weird so i wish he uh he was really funny like honestly like he was a he was a good friend sometimes very yeah. rarely but totally like, and that's what sucks because he completely like just didn't care about that enough yeah to not ruin yeah. it yeah, my problem with him now, for the most part, is I see just, like, the weird shit he did, like, you know, and it was like, oh, like, why are you, like, you know, it's just, like, as an adult, like, being weird like that, or even, a, like, that's that's the stuff that's, like, kind of hard to look past for me, because it's, like, it was very manipulative, and that's and that's the shame, because we, I, I had a lot of good times, even as an adult, when mm -hmm. I went and became friends with him again at one point, I had, like, a lot of good times with him, but then he started doing these, like, manipulative, like, mind games and it like ruined it again and i was like dude like i wanted things i wanted to just you know have i don't know be chill and um catch it up yeah yeah and then it became uh this like um i don't know just like controlling i guess it felt so it, it was it was kind of weird um i i feel yeah it's unfortunate um yeah i think every time I, we talk about him we're like bummed because it sucks yeah 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 I, and I, I do have like a lot of really funny memories and stuff, but it just gets, it doesn't really even matter anymore because it's like, yeah. Well, and yeah. I to think about them all together. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like for me, like when I last hung out with him, I was really hoping that he would, you know, be able to like mend himself, I guess. And he just didn't, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's like how I, like, I don't, I don't think I should try anymore. <laughs> like, like at this point, like it was like one of those things. It was like I, I did try and I went out of my way to like try to, you know, maybe be like we were in different places at that point. And then it just now it just seems like, oh, it's probably best if we just don't hang out right. anymore. As sad as that, yeah, as much as we had good times and stuff, because there was like great yeah. times. I mean, even like the 
we did that Johnny and Brian show thing. And that was like, yeah, mm-hmm. it was cringe, but that was a, that was fun. And like, you know, there was some silly, like his humor, like sometimes was like way too much. We all know. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes it was like, it, it was like, oh, this awkward nerdy guy. And it was actually funny. And yeah. those moments were like good. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, we had some really funny times with him at the studio. Yeah. Uh, when he was recording his album and stuff. But yeah, totally not. But yeah. Yeah. It was, um, it, it, we had a pretty much everything really like. Yeah. Yeah. We had like the uh, I, the crazy fights and then we had like the crazy just like being homies with each other and like mm-hmm. being like, oh, I, you know, we're we're having a good time. It's crazy like how much has changed. I mean, now now we're like so much older. It's like not like we're not old, but we're older and it's like, well. Sometimes I feel old, which sucks, <laughs> I'm fucking 22. Yeah. Do you get that way? Do well, I mean, like feel yeah, like, like, I mean, like, now you see, like, the e-boys and stuff, too, and you're like, shit, yeah. like, <laughs> well, now yeah. n- now I have people online, everyone acts like I'm just a distant memory, like, oh, my God, I used to watch you, like, yeah. or even, like, at Warped Tour back in the day, not even that, like, three years ago or whatever, like, when I was, like, you know, even, like, younger they were like right oh i used to watch your videos i'm like that's <laughs> that kind of hurts <laughs> yeah I, I got that too I'm yeah like, God damn it okay all right well yeah totally every time pretty much and like yeah guys if you are listening to this please don't tell me you used to watch my videos like just lie to me and act like you still do <laughs> if you see me <laughs> because it hurts <laughs> Yeah, like, don't do that to anybody. If you go don't do it to anyone, anyone you know. it's the worst. It's like, yeah. oh, you used to give a fuck about me. Cool. <laughs> go yeah. up to Post no. Malone. Yeah, Yo, no. I used to watch your music. <laughs> Yo, I used to watch you. Can I have a photo, though? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. You don't care anymore, though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, funny. Yeah, but uh, I feel old. I have chronic back pain constantly. Oh, dude, I feel it. My back... Oh my god, I sleep on the ground yeah. a lot of times. I'm always rolling because my back right here in the spine, it fucking hurts. Yeah. My, my spinal column is so fucked. Shit, dude. dude. Try, try this thing after the stream or after this podcast. We could do it on the like, podcast. Go to the mirror. What, 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 oh, I have to go to the mirror? You, oh. You need a mirror. <laughs> but, well, you can do it. You can try it yourself in the camera. But when you stand up or sitting down, I can become almost four inches taller with my back standing correctly. Because my back slouches inward, oh. and then my shoulders are down. So, like, when I... Mm. You'll have to go to the mirror, and you'll look at your body, and you'll be like, holy goddamn, I'm fucking taller than I thought. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah, I'm it's like that... Um, four or, like, seven inches taller or something. What is that? It's not good. What is that called? Posture? Yeah, you need, like, a... Bad posture or good posture or what? Well, you definitely sound like you have bad posture. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about your back being, like, bent, and then, like, when you it's... expand it, it grows four inches. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you got like so a fucked. hunchback of Notre Dame or something going on. <laughs> it's inverted back though. My back doesn't. Oh, end. that's. It's so weird. So and then d- I gotta straighten it. Oh, and I get so taller. How the? F- when I stand. Yeah. And then my shoulders oh. are way too like they're like back and like. Wow. Yeah, tense so and stuff. So, yeah, it's just tension yeah. that's built up for sure. You gotta you gotta yeah. come back with the Twitch stream someday and uh, do a massage stream. <laughs> massage stream? I yeah. would do that. <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome. I've always wanted one. I feel like. I'd be happier doing it on stream because at least I'm like, oh, I'm doing it for a video or something. But like, you've never had a massage, like a professional. No, massage. I'm too. I'm so uncomfortable with people touching me. Like, it's like scary. It's like, especially random think, people. Like, what? It's like, dude, I love it, man. I yeah. love it. Um, <laughs> the last time I, I I got a massage, I I booked it at the wrong goddamn place, and it ended up being in the, the happy of ending. My... No, I'm just kidding. I wish uh, <laughs> it was the wrong no, place. They up... gave me a blowjob. <laughs> 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 Um, it ended up being inside of a mall in the food court. Oh, like, God damn it. I want my privacy. Yeah. So I get there. I'm wearing sweatpants and a sweater because it's easy to take off for the massage. And they were like, keep your clothes on, you know, because we're oh. in the food court. And I was like, fuck. But then there was that one point when she wanted to massage my back. She was like, do you want oil or not? And I'm like, yeah, I want the oil. Let's, you know, oil me she up. Put it on the shirt. And so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So she was like, you got to take off your shirt. And then I look around. People are eating fucking chips. Panda Express. Panda Express, and I'm like, yeah. God damn it. And I took off my shirt in the middle of the mall and got Some old man food. just comes in eating his Panda Express, just watching, like. Fills it on my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, dude. That, that's, yeah. that's so bad, honestly. It was unfortunate, but I just had to close my eyes and act like I am in private right now. 
Yeah, and, um, the, and then the you could smell the mall food, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was getting hungry. You're getting, like, like Subway and Panda Express in your face? Oh, yeah. Man. Crying but kids you you're just get listening massage, to? Though. Yeah, I oh, mean... dude, there was a fucking crying baby. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Come on. I, I, yeah, a yeah. massage would be cool. Um, Maybe some... They're great. <laughs> yeah. What would you prefer, like, a guy or a girl, or it doesn't matter? No, I mean, well, I don't like either. The sound of both sound like creepy. Like, it just sounds not. I'm not in happy. Their own with, way, yeah. Yeah, I I think no matter what, it's like a weird stranger you're like touching me. But I mean, they should be. That's their job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I'm allowed to feel uncomfortable. Like it's like, oh, this is right. strange. But I think it would. I think it would benefit me. Yeah. It would <laughs> definitely. Every massage yeah. I've went to, they say something about my back being so like the most fucked they've ever seen. I feel like. I'm like yeah. I feel like I might I might get tense though because it's like a random person touching me though I might like clench up and be like uh like awkward. You oh know well, what I mean? they'll help you with that. They'll fucking give you one of these elbows. Right <laughs> they start to giving you spine. wet willies. They're like, yeah. <laughs> like Jesus, tickle your feet with a feather. <laughs> they do get sometimes very close to spots you don't want them. To, really? But I ne I never say a goddamn word. I'm like, <laughs> okay, go ahead. A little uh, bit yeah. lower, yeah. <laughs> in the in the mall, my ass was like halfway out. Wow. Way. Because she kept going lower, and I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Well, yeah, because they get that good. like they get that like uh backbone area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that super shit. Low, so. That shit's the best, I think. Oh, that's dude, like, yeah. that's like, that's the idea. What's going on with you and Byzanti though? Is this like a podcast that you guys are doing together? This kickback thing, or is this like? Yeah. So hopefully. We're planning to do it every Wednesday. Uh, mm -hmm. We just did the first one last week, and it went really well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to have a, a few guests every week and um, kick back. Just, yeah, kick back and uh, hang out. And it's, last time we had a couple of drinks on stream, and yeah, so and, it's just like a, a get together with friends and right, who, yeah, yeah, who might do some sort of content in some way, and right, and just hanging out. That's cool. I, I, I I'm gonna be on that. I would assume. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, next week. Next week, yeah, that yeah. will be that will be happening before I post this. Then I just wanted like yeah. a way to. I, I mean, I just like I have people that I know of or something, and like this history with a lot of people that I just wanted to talk to that I've done stuff, and like you especially being one of them. But mm. um, yeah, there's just so many like YouTuber friends and musician friends and just people that are just people that I've just known or something that have like it's been a ride. So it's kind of interesting. Or people that like. I've never met even. I've had a few nice. people that like want to talk that I've never even talked to that I'm like, oh, this seems kind of cool. So yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm definitely gonna listen every time you post because yeah, I know you already have a few people in line that w would be uh, really cool on the yeah, I'd, yeah, it'd be cool. I'm uh, it's nerve wracking though because it's like it's always nerve wracking talking to anyone. Like it's it's tough, especially with I like, get it. but but it, yeah, it's it's definitely good. I think it's a a, a way for me to live, like not be like super right. like. Oh, I'm just talking to the same three people all day. So, because that's, that's pretty much I was excited to get on this and uh, excited to just start doing stuff again. And it's also inspired me, you asking me to be on this to oh, yeah. Thanks, start man. picking up my camera and, you know, trying to get stuff done again. So, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I get that it's super like, um, you know, sometimes it just feels like why like to do stuff. Like, it really, I get that like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It, it sucks. It sucks. It's a bad feeling. And but. I feel like it's like this for a lot of people. It always helps to talk to very similar people that's doing, you know, similar yeah. stuff. And it's it's really inspiring. And I, I think you know this, but maybe not. The, when we hung out last mm. year, um, that's when I started doing YouTube again and actually filmed like the first stuff for my yeah, video you're, was yeah. after we hung out. Yeah, you felt like, yeah, you were super stoked because it was just, yeah, yeah. You, it, it felt like from my perspective, you didn't really do anything like that for a minute. So it was like, and it, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, the MDE times, like we've had moments where we like butted heads and stuff and we've had yeah, moments definitely. where we're like, you know, it, everyone's stressed at each other, honestly. But I mean, when we're like having a good time and stuff, and I think now we're both like mature enough and like older and we understand, like, yeah. you know, we, we get along really well, probably better than we've ever gotten along, <laughs> like. Just because we've just because we've aged, and um, yeah, it's cool that we're able to like, you know, do that again and stuff. And I think that's what was so fun about when we reconnected and stuff like that. Honestly, it would have been a perfect. I think it wasn't a video, or no, remember a little bit, yeah, because we we did the um the the bed of the whatever it's called the ironing board, and you, oh yeah, someone broke yeah. it. I think 
Yeah. Yeah. And I think we did the uh, chugging contest as well. Oh, yeah. Did I do that with you or was that somebody else? No, that was Caleb. That was Caleb. Yeah, yeah. He chugged it with yeah. you. That was a yeah. really – that was just like – that was a perfect way for us to like reconnect though. It was just such a good time and um, – I, I, I will, like, I'm happy we didn't like film it all because it just like kind of, you know, right. was, but it, if, if we filmed it, it would have been like such a fun video for people to watch. Like they would have loved it. Cause it was just like, I don't know. We were just chilling in a hotel, like doing, like just reconnecting and just vibing all night. Yeah. And then going so and doing a music fun. video, like, right. It was like pretty wild. So, and then that's why sometimes like I don't film stuff is like, I want to just experience it and like. Yeah. remember it and just have a good time and live in the moment but then sometimes afterwards i'm like fuck that'd be so funny to rewatch to like upload yeah yeah but. yeah i totally get that i mean it's it's yeah it feels like sometimes it's like disingenuine when you film it too like it's like oh it doesn't like oh i'm not really living in the moment or whatever but i right i i think that just depends on like personally like I don't think I don't think there's usually anything wrong with filming anything as long as it doesn't mm -hmm. ruin anything. Like it doesn't ruin the moment right. as long yeah. as it feels right. So if it feels right. right, do it. If it if you're being obnoxious with it though, don't. But yeah, right. yeah. I mean, either way though, it was a good time. If you guys want to check out Kyle um, when he is coming back or just in general with anything that he does, it's Kyle David Hall on any platform, or you can yep. go to Blue Airsoft on YouTube dot com. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I recommend That's it. <laughs> um, you know that's still my biggest video on my channel is one of my blue the, airsoft videos the ds unboxing the 3ds case yeah. unboxing. Yeah. yeah i could not forget that that is yeah i think that's at probably like 300,000 400,000 views fucking five I, I think it's over half a million now oh, okay okay <laughs> it, it, it still constantly gets views. You, Did you know that that should be one of your videos once you're back you should really just do like something of that nature again like some like parody of it almost or something yeah That'd be pretty I great. I still have the case, so. Re, re un, un, like, re, yeah. unbox it again, but like yeah. nowadays, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a great video. Everyone go check that video out. Uh, unboxing okay, yeah. my 3DS, I think it was maybe 3DS just case. 3DS case, not even the full yeah. 3DS, just the case. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kyle David Hall on everything. You can um book him on Cameo as well if you want to get a shout yeah. out. He can say anything that you want. As long as it's yeah, not any, like offensive, <laughs> correct. <laughs> but if you want him to say like something kind of silly, he probably will do that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. I've said some weird stuff, so. And you can follow him on Twitch as well, which is Kyle David Hall. I'm sure. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Is there anything else you want to shout out or anything like that? I mean, I'll link uh, all your say, stuff. But... Nice. Yeah, I just want to say like thanks for having me on. Uh, oh, thanks for being fun. on. Thanks for opening up and like letting me like talk to you because like I know you're not like online all the time and stuff and. Yeah. I know it's like there's so much that we have so much history and stuff, but I'm 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 happy that we get to speak and then I'm yeah. happy that viewers I mean, get to see this and stuff. So I think we even have so much more that we could potentially do. Oh so, yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna be on the podcast this weekend. Yeah, yeah, and, and I'm sure uh, I'll be drinking. Like if you're drinking that day or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Are you are you planning on drinking that day? Maybe we might. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we should do something like this again. Other yeah. than those two things as well. Yeah, this is the episode, the first episode, and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have many more, and I'm sure I'll have you on again because as long as you want to be on, <laughs> as long as you're not like 100%. fuck no. But <laughs> yeah. I, I, there's so much more we could talk about. I could probably write down some notes or something about like Definitely. something that's like more like. But I think this was a good place to start. And oh, yeah, thank 100%. you so much for being on and talking to me. So yeah, all right, guys. You. It was fun. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Do is do.